Pete, what's up, man? How you doing? Hey, you know, I'm great, bro. Just getting ready to teach your old man some new tricks. Point of the game is to win, Rook. Hey, I'm just saying. Don't get caught on no posters tonight. A lot of cameras around here. Guess we'll see what happens. All right, bet. Good luck. Go. Cool. And one thing, Greg, you notice about both these teams, they look to play through the passing game. And all the better for us. I mean, as fans of the game, seeing that kind of flow and teamwork, it just makes the game fun to watch. Now let's take a look at the starters for New Orleans. Brandon Ingram's out there with Trey Murphy. Then there's McCollum. Then it's Daniels. And it's Valanciunas in its center. And so the Los Angeles Lakers get the first points of the ballgame. McCollum, no good. Outside, Davis. He kicks it to Russell. Davis looking for an opening. Down low, six to shoot. MP, no good. McCollum with the ball. Pass to Valanciunas. Ingram against James. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Hey, when Ingram is in attack mode, it forces the defense's hand. Literally. Good job drawing the foul. Shooting for the wall. And he sinks the second. In court for years, the Lakers have been the premier destination for free agents. Think that's still the case now? I do. I mean, it's still Los Angeles. The history of the Lakers is one of the premier franchises in the league, along with the Celtics. So I think cap room is the driver, though. That's always the great equalizer in this day and age. And I think that helps keep some of the small market teams in the game as well. Ruffles has landed some big name NBA stars the last few years, Greg. More recently, they have just added MP to their list of spokesmen. And Kevin, not a surprise to see the endorsements starting to roll in for MP. He's one of the most marketable stars the league has to offer. MP, no good. New Orleans gone, 0 of 2 from deep here. And McCullum puts up a deep three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. They're one of four here to start, looking to get into a flow offensively. Here's Russell. Good D by McCollum. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Daniels with it. MP's there. And there's Valanciunas on the assist by Daniels. And he's pretty relentless inside. Valanciunas gets after it down low. It might not always look pretty, but he makes the most of his chances in the paint. Vanderbilt, a screen on Ingram. Shot from 12. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Valanciunas has got four rebounds now tonight. McCollum deciding where to go with it. No good on the three. Oh, he just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Shots are just flowing with him right now, having a really strong quarter. Passes it to Valanciunas. To the inside. And the basket by McCollum. If there's a weakness in your defense, McCollum will find it. Reads the floor exceptionally well. MP finds James. Back to MP. And the dunk by Tom. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. A three from McCollum. Trains it from beyond the arm. McCollum's got five. And there's the steadiness to McCollum's game. He's going to contribute from deep almost every game. It's becoming a given. Now, here's MP. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Time now to look at the race for Rookie of the Year. And, of course, it's still early. A little over a month gone in this new NBA season. 
But let's take a look at who's made a nice impact so far. You look at MP. What a rookie year he's having, guys, atop the rankings right now. And even though it might be a tight call, he's definitely the favorite. And what a feeling right now for him. I mean, sitting on top of the heap of all that young talent. And that's no small achievement. I mean, even early on like this, I think it shows you how well he fits into playing at this level. The Lakers with the ball. The Pelicans make their last shot. Shoots a fader. Pelicans pull it in. This, their first look at this year's Los Angeles squad. Going against a conference opponent, one that outplayed them head to head last season. A chance for payback. Now look at these two teams who seem to perhaps be on the verge. So these are those pecking order games where we try to get some separation. Here's MP following the score by New Orleans. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. It's in there. Davis with the assist. Ten points for him. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? MP against McCollum. Now the pass to Ingram. Back to McCollum. Puts up a three. That's his fourth basket of the game, and he's only taken four shots off to a good start. That's their third straight make off an assist. James against Ingram. Russell kicks to LeBron. Davis with a screen on Ingram. And LeBron James good for three. Oh, textbook pick and roll there. James doing a great job breaking down the defense. A three from McCollum. No good that time. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. Russell passes to LeBron. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. Terrific read on the part of Russell that time. Scanned the court, spotting the open man, and then whipped it there for an easy bucket. And one thing you respect about Russell, his ability to get the rock in the hoop. Yeah, I agree. I mean, he puts... He puts points on the board in bunches. No matter what uniform he's wearing, this guy is a legitimate lethal score. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. Yeah, and the lead has changed hands, and it just hasn't stayed in those hands very long when it's changed. Back and forth we go. To the middle. Here's McCollum. And he can't stop the run as he misses. Boy, just not scoring with the efficiency he'd like to. Tough quarter for him. And they pick up two. And the Lakers lead by three. There's that floor awareness on display. MP feeling the overcommitment and then whipping that pass to the open teammate. Now here's Valanchunas. 11-point game is last outing. McCollum finds Ingram. No oh, good with the triple. So it's Davis bring the ball up for the Los Angeles Lakers. And a wide open look for MP. Offline with his three. You know, defensively, you just can't afford to give him that much room. They're fortunate that he missed that one. James against Ingram. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And here in the early part of the season, Clark, just how important is it to have a team that's been together for a few years, knows what the other one's doing, the chemistry aspect? You know, Kevin, I don't think you can ever, ever overestimate the value of experience. It helps the season early on go smoother. You don't have to learn each other as much. It really gives you a chance to hit the ground running as a team. And the dunk by MP. Talent on full display for MP. This guy's putting on a clinic. To the paint, here's Ingram. And slam dunk by Ingram. Oh boy, oh boy, to be young again. <laughs> Makes you nostalgic, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, it does make me look back a little bit, but I could never throw it down like that. It sure does look good. The Lakers with the ball. The Pelicans make their match. Hachimura, no good. Let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for Los Angeles. And guys, I love the movement. He's doing a great job. One of one in the 
game so far from the line. An 89% free throw shooter puts him right there among the league's best from the line. You know, there's been some improvement in his free throw shooting this year. His percentage has taken a little jump compared to last season. So for New Orleans right now, they've got Jose Alvarado. Jonas Valanciunas is out there with Trey Murphy. Then it's Ingram, and it's Daniels in at the two guard, and it's Ingram missing. Well, that's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit, maybe lost concentration too. Vanderbilt, and the dunk by Vanderbilt. And for a power forward, he can sure get up. I mean, because of that leaping ability, it kind of offsets his height disadvantage. Alan Junis with a screen on LeBron. Inside, and he goes in for the dunk. Outstanding decision-making by Ingram there, working it to the open man. Really good possession. Now, here's MP. He's defended by Alvarado. Here's LeBron. MP looking around. Right through contact, MP. Hey, I think you got to provide more resistance inside. MP doesn't seem to mind a little contact down there. Ingram up top, covered by LeBron. And there before you are the teams that have been absolutely red hot for the last 10 games. The Lakers number one. You have to be impressed with their shot selection. I mean, the discipline on that end and the unselfishness really is what allows those great numbers to show up. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. Davis comes in for Christian Wood. And it's Russell in for Vincent. LeBron playing like a big man inside. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Ingram against LeBron. Pass to Alvarado. And yes, it's good. Alvarado's got seven points. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent pass. The drive by MP. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. Yeah, I don't think it's an accident that aggressiveness correlates with playing better. So the aggressiveness is starting to pay off. Harry Nance has checked in for the Pelicans. McCollum comes in for Jose Alvarado. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. McCollum outside. The shot's good on the assist by Daniel. He's got 11. What a professional. McCollum's reliability on offense is such a gift to his team. Vanderbilt the pass to LeBron. Out of bounds, New Orleans will take possession. And as we check out this year's contenders for the dunk contest, we get a look at some of the showmen, the best showmen in the NBA. And with the names on that list, you know we're going to have a crazy competition this year. And I know we'd like to make a move up in the consideration he's got all the athleticism you hope for from a dunk contest. He sure does. Lots of competition, though, in the running this year to get that big invite. And as always, we'll keep the updates coming in as we get closer to All-Star Weekend. One thing we already know, there are some great players pulling in votes so far. Yeah, and I think it's safe to say that this is going to be one of those dunk contests that everybody's going to be tuning into. Lakers trail by seven. Davis up top. He is guarded by McCollum. Alan Junis against MP. Back to James. Pass to Vanderbilt. Here's Davis. He makes the Johnny from the left block. Davis really going up strong once he's near the basket. Love seeing him do that. Passes it to Daniels. And here's Valen Junis. Back to Daniels. Here's McCollum. The prong with the block. 
And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, guys. But Zion Williamson is a force to be reckoned with, but Coach Willie Green said he's just scratching the surface. He's going to continue to get better. Over and over again, he's making the right play. Kevin? All right, D.A., thanks. Here's Daniels. No good on the shot. Great D that time from Davis. And so it's Davis bring the ball up for the Los Angeles Lakers. They trail by three. James finds MP. Back to James. And LeBron throws it down hard. LeBron showing you how he does it. A stylish flush by King James. And here's McCollum for three. Hits the three-point bomb. McCollum's got five points now this quarter. A total defensive collapse. I mean, no reason to allow him that kind of space from behind the arc. Cobb kicks to Russell. Back to MP. MP rattling the rim. Oh, a super close two points there. MP finishing nice. New Orleans has gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. And stolen by MP. Outside, James. The pass to Russell for the three. They get it again. And Davis throws it down. What determination on the board. His work ethic really standing out right there. Well done by Davis. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. Checked in for LeBron. And the Pelicans also making a change. Ingram, he's checked in for Nance. The Pelicans have gone 8 of 16 from the field in the second quarter. A nice, efficient 50%. Ingram, wide open. Off target with his three. The game has been very close in a lot of areas. The rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. Boy, he's got to be kicking himself for failing to make that shot. That's money. You know, Clark, when he's 100%, Anthony Davis, one of the premier big men in the game. Hey, I would take that qualifier off of it, Kevin. How about just one of the best players, period? He can pick and pop. He can pick and roll. He can post up. He can do everything offensively and defensively. He's unique as a rim protector with the ability to defend on the perimeter, too. Puts it up from 12. Here's Vanderbilt. Drops in the layup for two. Vanderbilt's got four points in the quarter. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. For three, Ingram. Vanderbilt with the rebound. Vanderbilt's got his eighth rebound here tonight. The three from MP. And it's Daniels with the rebound. The Pelicans shooting 47% in the second quarter. A three from McCollum. Vanderbilt with the rebound. Vanderbilt's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Russell dishes to Cobb. To the inside, Hachimura. And the dunk by Hachimura. And proving to be effective around the rim. Hachimura leaving no doubt about that one. Ingram deciding where to go with it. No one near him. Yep, that one goes in there. Ingram's got it all tied up now for the Pelicans. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Here's MP. MP accepting the contact. They are just killing him on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. Even with every shot clanging off the rim, he seems determined to keep hoisting up these three. It might be time to get inside of that arc. Davis has the open look. Good, and it's MP picking up the assist. 
Cobb's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. The shot and game clock separated by four. Back to McCollum. And McCollum with the slam. And slamming that one home. McCollum, 6'3", smaller for an off guard. But you see there, CJ can absolutely fly. Vanderbilt a screen on McCollum. And the dunk by Vanderbilt. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley -oop. Well, I tell you what, they've got this team just a step away from being completely sleep. MP has been leading the charge for Los Angeles. Setting up teammates and getting buckets. He is looking That's as right, determined baby. as ever. That's right. We've got more in store for you right after this. Thanks for tuning in. Did you miss us? Before we discuss the game at hand, let's first check out the upcoming schedule. Yeah, they gotta like the look of their next few games. Some soft targets in there. That's no reason to take it easy on them. Gotta drop that hammer. Boom, boom. Big fella not cutting them any slack. That's how we do it here at 2K. And now let's talk about this one. Man, what a great start for the Lakers. I know what Shaq's gonna say. Elbow sandwiches. Those guys are physical, and they've controlled the glass. They gave the impression that they wanted it more, Shaq. To be honest, all I heard was sandwiches. When's the food getting here? And that's all for us. Now it's time to send it back to Kevin Harlan for the beginning of the third quarter. If you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. You look at MP in this one, he's been everywhere. You, you just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. Los Angeles calls timeout. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. In at small and power forward, it's LeBron and Vanderbilt. D'Angelo Russell out there we come. And it's Davis at the five spot. That's the Laker five. Total commitment there from MP on that play, not allowing that interior defense to distract him at all. And you think of height as an advantage in basketball, but Greg, the versatility at, at such a premium. Can you be too tall in today's NBA? It's a valid question. The, the two biggest concerns for seven-footers are mobility and durability. To move the way they need to puts a lot of strain on those lower extremities. It's nice passing here by Los Angeles. And Davis gets it to go. Davis has got the lead up to six now for Los Angeles. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Yeah, it's really been quite a contrast. I like the way they're attacking the middle and at their offensive end. Six on the shot clock. And Davis sends it back. If you don't know exactly where Davis is, he's going to deny your shot, so you got to be aware of his presence. And Valanciunas pulls it down. Pelicans trail by six. Here's Ingram. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That's on LeBron James. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Christian Wood. And, and looking at his offensive numbers from the past few years, it, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points, and they haven't been coming nearly as easily as they used to. 
You know, Ingram is quiet about the work he puts in after practice and before games. Uh, this is a guy who just never stops trying to improve, though, and that's shown up in how he's grown as a player. To the paint. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That one on Davis. The Pelicans have shot 10 of 13 from the free throw line. And so he makes both from the line. Just over a minute and a half have passed here in the third quarter. Down low. Huh? And MP throws it down. Putting those passing skills to work. LeBron, truly a gifted passer. Ingram against LeBron. Ingram passes to Daniels. Kicks it to McCollum. Back to Daniels. Valanciunas against Davis. Just five to shoot. Here's McCollum. Valanciunas. That one doesn't drop. Just one for four from the field. Not the way they wanted to start the second half. Davis with it. Now Valanciunas defending. Boy, that defense smothered him in there. Love the intensity. Pass to Ingram. McCollum against MP. And Valanciunas kicks to Ingram. Now the dish to McCollum. Trying to find Valanciunas. Gets it to him. The shot's good. With his strength, it isn't easy to upset Valanciunas with a little contact. You're going to have to get a lot more physical than that. Here's MP. And the dunk by Kahn. Just rubbing it in their faces with that dunk. <laughs> he is never going to take his foot off a of pedal. And that's terribly demoralizing for a defense, guys. I mean, they know he's going to keep coming and coming and coming and that they may not have an answer for it. Lakers leading by five. Kings absorbing hits on the cross. You think LeBron is bothered by that contact? Absolutely not. No way. Pass to Ingram. Over LeBron. And Ingram with the basket on the assist by McCollum. Ingram's got 18 points. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, those hot streaks guys don't last minutes. They last days. He's just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Passes to Valanciunas. He kicks it to Daniels. Dishes to Ingram. Ingram drawing the double team. Cullen passes to Valanciunas. Second chance shot. And goaltending is going to be the call. So they get the basket there anyway. Just barely too late and, and catches it on the way down. He's already in the air there. Committed. So can't fault him for going for the block. And that's a block right there. He swats that ball away with some energy. Superb anticipation on that rejection. And that'll allow them to stay on the lead if they keep defending like that. Cobb, no good. And so it's Ingram who brings up the ball for the Pelicans. Up top, Valanciunas. Over Russell. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Lakers leading by five to the middle. Oh, MP makes it look easy. That's the tenth straight point they've given up in the paint. And you know, it doesn't matter how good your defense is on the perimeter if you're going to allow easy ones inside like that. MP against McCollum. And that one's good, Ingram. Well, no question about it. Ingram is in the zone right now, having no trouble getting and hitting his shots. Back to MP. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. It goes on C.J. McCollum. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. You know, all game long, they've imposed their will on the interior. 
scoring a lot of points in the painted area. And the other thing that stands out is just how well they have moved the ball. Everyone's touching it and having a chance to create. Los Angeles making a switch here. Vincent's checked in. Lakers have gone 6 and 9 for the floor here in the second half. They've got to be happy with that. Here's McCollum. And it's LeBron James with the rebound. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Davis sets a screen. Loads it up for Davis. An emphatic LU jam. Boy, there's not a better target in all of the NBA than Davis for the alley -oop. Pelicans trail by eight. McCollum outside. Ingram kicks to McCollum. That's good, and it's Ingram with the assist. 20 points for C.J. McCollum. On the wing, MV. Back to James. James jackhammers it down. Yet another stellar night for LeBron offensively so far. In some ways, he's just unstoppable. Down low, and it's Davis finishing it off. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the emphatic stuff. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. Larry Nance has checked in for Ingram. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. in field goal percentage. And they're also first in points allowed. No team is better at taking the other side's star out of rhythm. And you pointed this out. No team in the NBA moves the ball better than they do. So many of their baskets are the product of just excellent assists. And here are the Pelicans now. It's a 10-point game. McCollum outside. Shot from free throw range. Nance. And then slams it in. And I like that play. Nance on the roll. Great athleticism. Tough to defend. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thank you, Kevin. The Lakers remain on their grind. Darvin Ham says, I'm preaching daily preparation. From the rest you're getting, how you're taking care of your body, sleep habits, nutrition, workouts, recovery, film work, being efficient with your practice time, and your shoot-arounds. Winning habits are built daily. Kevin, I'm very tired after saying all that. Back to you. <laughs> I'm sure you are. They actually do all of it. David, thank you for that detailed report. The three from LeBron. Nance with the rebound. After hitting one three in the first half, he's been unable to dial in from deep since then. The pass to Valanciunas. Valanciunas draws the double. Five on the clock. New Orleans needs to get off a shot. And it's McCollum in the corner. No good from outside. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Guys, that's been the key to their lead. I mean, simply put, the effort they've displayed on the glass has been the difference. It's good on the putback. And one way Valanciunas generates offense, using that big body to snare the board and keep the play alive. Pass to James. 
And they double up James. A good look from Cobb. Yes. It's James picking up the assist. 34 points for MP. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. Oh, that's a really nice job from MP to invite the contact and then get to the line. So far tonight, he's gone four of six at the line. In their last contest, guys, he was unconscious from the foul line. Splashed them one after another. It really was quite a display from the strike. Wood, he's checked in for the Lakers. Achimura comes in for James. And the Pelicans also making a change. Cody Zeller's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. And crafty move by McCollum there, making sure he initiates the contact before letting the shot go. This is his first free throw of the game. First one falls for him. Radish, he's checked in for the Lakers. And then for New Orleans, Najee Marshall comes in for Trey Murphy. And it's Jose Alvarado in for Dyson Daniel. And so McCollum nails both of them. And when you think of McCollum, the word efficient comes to mind. This guy just shoots the ball and plays the game at a high level. Kicks to Reddish. Wood a screen on McCollum. Reddish the pass to Wood. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Christian Wood. And you know, Clark, it, it wasn't an easy first few years in the league for Christian Wood. You know, sometimes the hard road is the more productive road for some guys. You know, he played for five different teams. And and Los Angeles with some changes. James checked in for Anthony Davis. Franz comes in for Reddish. And it's Cobb in for Vincent. Jonas Valanciunas is checked in for New Orleans. Landon Ingram comes in for C.J. McCollum. And they double up MP. Here's Prince. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. One thing, Greg, you notice about Torian Prince, he can play anywhere against anyone. And he's a versatile player who gives you just a ton of effort. Drop Prince into any lineup, any scheme, and he's going to find a way to affect the game. Well, I like the fact that Prince um, does a good job picking his spots. He's not a guy that forces things. Um, kind of lets the game come to him naturally. So the Pelican five right now. Jose Alvarado is out there with Ingram. And it's Nance. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas. And it's Marshall in at the three slot. MP right side. And they double up MP. Prince finds Hachimura. So nice passing here by Los Angeles. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. And again, no good by the Lakers. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Pass to Valanciunas. To the inside. Tipped away. Back to Alvarado. Off the mark and a chance to trim it to single digits. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. And as a result, they've got a big lead. Nance a screen on Prince. Here's Ingram. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on MP. Aggressive move that time by Ingram, putting up the shot while absorbing the foul. So for the Pelicans, Trey Murphy's checked in for Nance. Daniels comes in for Marshall. And it's C.J. McCollum in for Jose Alvarado. Here's McCollum. The shot's good on the assist by Daniels. McCollum's got it back down to single digits for the Pelicans. James looking around.
Simmons pull it in. And New Orleans pushing it up now. Moving it up. And we talk about court awareness. There, McCollum doing a beautiful job spotting the open man. Stolen by McCollum. And the foul called on MP. That's his third foul of the game. Anthony Davis is checked in for the Lakers. Vanderbilt comes in for Rui Hachimura. Substitution for your Lakers. Anthony Davis. Daniels dishes to Ingram. Back to Daniels. From outside the arc. Good on the triple. Now just a four-point Los Angeles lead. Defensively, you can't back off him that much. And you don't want to give up easy threes at this stage of the game. LeBron outside. It's over Ingram. LeBron finishes inside with authority. The defense knows they got to throw everything at James inside, but he still manages to power through it. Alan Judas with a screen on Prince. Here's Ingram, and that one goes long. Lakers leading by six. MP left side. Book it. MP with a tough shot. The defense has just been unable to slow him down. Wow, what a game. Ingram against Prince. Ingram passes to Daniels. Pass to McCollum. Down to five on the shot clock. Stolen by Prince. To the paint. Cobb, no good. And so it's McCollum. He'll bring it up for the Pelicans. Trailing here by eight. And the foul called on MP. That's his fourth foul of the contest. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Yep, the next one puts them on the line, so they've got to be careful the rest of the way. Russell has checked in for the Lakers. Doesn't quite have the height, but boy, does McCollum have the heart. He's a relentless finisher in traffic. We throw good, McCollum. Los Angeles has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. On the wing, MP. And it's off from three-point range. New Orleans with the ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Takes the three. And again, New Orleans with the triple. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just a great ball movement. Outside, Russell. There's the pass to Cobb. Back to Russell. Four on the clock. Here's Vanderbilt. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. And the Lakers lead by five. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Pass to Ingram. He kicks it to Valanciunas. Ingram drawing the double team. Here's McCollum. Makes it off the glass. McCollum's got 15 points here in the second half. Boy, he's making it look really easy right now. I expect them to continue to run the offense through him until the defense makes him change plan. Davis setting the pick for MP. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Well, you have to like how he's challenging the defense now in the second half. Getting to the line for a lot of free throw opportunities. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. He did the important part at the line there. The heavy lifting, if you will. Made this a two-possession game. McCollum finds Valanciunas. Ingram drawing the double team. New Orleans moving the ball around. And the basket by McCollum. It's just what the doctor ordered here. Boy, have they needed him here in the fourth. Yes, they have. He's made all four of his shots this quarter. Definitely looking to be a dangerous guy. Inside. Outside for Davis. Pass to James. Feeds it to MP. Stolen by McCollum. This 
passes it to Daniels. Kicks it out to McCollum. And trying for the go-ahead basket, it doesn't go in. Here's Russell, 18 feet away, and he knocks it down. And the Lakers lead by four. And now just having some fun. Russell, you know he likes the big moment. Great confidence and great results. The pass to Ingram. Over LeBron. And Ingram with the basket on the assist by McCollum. Ingram's got 33. And such a clutch shooter. I mean, he lives for the big shot. And when he's rolling like this, watch out. Down low. And MP throws it down. Big time shot from MP. Stepping up when the team needed one. MP against McCollum. Valanciunas with a screen on MP. Pass to Ingram. The Lakers with the rebound. Davis has got rebound number 15 here tonight. And they double up MP. And in transition, it's Ingram. Here we go. Over LeBron. That one's good. The Laker lead is cut down to just two points in the bucket from Ingram. Ingram not getting overtaken by the height of the moment. And nailing the shot in the face of the defense because his poise and composure is top level. From T. James. Alan Junis grabs the board. New Orleans has gotten off four three corners in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Alan Junis with a screen on MP. Back to Ingram. Ingram drawing the double team. Pocket six, and the officials call him for a three-second violation. Boy, in a game this snug, you can ill afford to commit those kinds of turnovers. Absolutely critical chance right here. They need this one to go their way. James with it. Oh, oh my goodness. Watch out. Boy, is it tough to stop LeBron right now. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. They're down by four. 36 seconds left in the fourth quarter. with an update from the sideline. Let's check in with David Aldridge. Guys, here's what Willie Green was doing in reviewing the plan with his team. The coach told his players, hey, they're feeling the pressure over there. Keep pressing, keep fighting. They're starting to crack. Now let's get this game even. Guys. Thank you, David. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one-two. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. And an intentional foul right there. That's the first. That makes it a three-point lead. I think moments like this demonstrate LeBron's leadership. Wanting the spotlight on him in tight games. Two-possession game now, guys. Some very important free throws there. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. They trail by four. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. So it's the Pelicans now. Ingram finds McCollum. Back to Ingram. A rebound by the Lakers. They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. Had to foul and on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. And you know what? Who knows? A few misses at the strike. And they're right there within range. You know, late game free throws are a lot different than early game free throws in terms of making them. You know, mistakes there. Good free throws to give them just a little bit more cushion. McCollum outside. Yes! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. And when it matters most, the coach has the confidence that McCollum will deliver. First free throw is good, and that gives them a four-point cushion. both free throws here. So now it's a five-point game. Good composure from the line there. Those shots sealed. For three, Ingram. He can't get that one to fall. And 
and so the Lakers take the win. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure they didn't get away from them late. Yeah, I mean, they faced some challenges, but really held firm when they needed to. On both ends, and just effective in terms of coming away with this win. And that about wraps it up. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. See you next time. Hey, I told you, bro. Had a few tricks up my sleeve. You got the win. I'll give it to you. Good game. But for real, though, it's fun going up against you, man. Hope it's not so fun next time. But good luck, stuff. Work. Take it easy, CJ. Yes, sir. Good luck. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. Nightmares about you carving up their D.